Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor from inkitupwithjessica.com. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 19 years now and it's still super exciting to get a brand new catalog. So grab a cup of coffee, pull up a comfy chair, and look through the new 2018 Stampin' Up! holiday catalog with me. You might also want to grab a pen and paper so you can start making your wish list. There are so many great new products that you're going to want for your holiday crafting. When you're ready, you can order from this catalog at shopinkitupwithjessica.com. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Right away on the first pages, pages two and three, I love a stamp set with a coordinating punch. So this actually comes in a fancy tin that you can use for yourself or you could fill it with cookies or something fun to give as a gift. And when you're looking through this catalog, most of the stamp images are shown actual size so that what you see is what you get, like this one. But just for this stamp set, these are shown at 60%. So know that these stamp images are actually the same size as this one, and they all fit in this coordinating punch. So this is what I think is a must have because it's gonna make it so easy to make tags and cards for Christmas. It also comes with a red and a green ink pad, so you're ready to go. This was something that made it onto my wish list right away. And that's the Merry Christmas to All stamp set and the Coordinating Merry Christmas Thinlet dies. So these actually come in a bundle and you'll want to look for these bundles throughout the catalog because whenever there's something coordinating like a stamp set and a die set or punch, you can save 10% when, when you get them together. So you know you're gonna want them both because they coordinate. So go ahead and order the bundle so that you can save a little bit. This is going to be one of my go-to stamp sets because you can mix and match these dies, which let me show you how big the Mary is, um, as well as mix and match all of these little word greetings to say just about anything you want for Christmas. My favorite so far is pairing this Mary with this Christmas, and I'll show you a couple cards that I've made with that. Here's one, so you can see it fits in a circle it also fits in an oval, and here I just added this little curly Q underneath. Um, and then here is one more. You're going to see some more of this paper and ribbon and things later in the catalog. But I am loving this stamp set so far. It's going to make some really great cards. You also like it when I point out things I don't like in the catalog, so I'll tell you right off. I am not really a fan of this swirls and curls embossing folder. I, I just am not a fan of the pattern that it creates, but I'm sure that some of you will love it and you will make fabulous things with it, so I can't wait to see. Here we have another stamp set that has a coordinating punch. Again, here's the bundle. So this Christmas bulb builder punch punches out these individual Christmas bulbs so that you can put them on cards and also make fun things like this little garland. There's also some really great designer series paper, and I always like to show this to you because the patterns are so much nicer to see at full size than they are just these little things in the catalogs. So look at how great these are. Some stockings. And some of these are actual pictures, um, kind of real pictures that someone took. And then on the back side are just some patterns that are, I don't know, more basic, I guess you would say. I really like these ornaments. This star, green star, that's my favorite, I think. And then some polka dots. So that's the All is Bright design, designer series paper. Comes in 12 by 12 and you get two sheets of each of those. So that's gonna be great for some of your Christmas projects. You'll also want to look for these you can make it throughout the catalogs so if you see a few cards here with a you can make it this is actually a bundle that you can get so there's one item code number right here and it includes one of each of these things listed below and these are all the things you need to make the cards shown here so they're trying to make it easier for you to get what you need to make some nice cards and give you some ideas to get you started if you don't have a big shot die cutting machine, you need to tell Santa that that is going to make a great Christmas gift for you. Um, I've had my big shot, I don't know, I think maybe 10 years now, and it is the easiest way to take your cards from nice to wow. All you need are a few dies to go with it and embossing folders. Embossing folders make all the difference, I think. 
So if you don't already have one, put that on your Christmas wish list and tell Santa. Another thing that I don't really care for is this Dashing Deer stamp set and the coordinating framelits. It's just not really my style, but I know whenever something is not my style like this, I know my friend Pam is going to love it because we seem to have opposite styles. So I really like that Stampin' Up! has different styles for everyone. So you might not like everything in the catalog, but you're going to find something that you like. And don't worry, Pam and I are still friends even though we don't like the same stamp sets. This stamp and die set, I just wanted to point out that this is one stamp, all these ornaments, and you can cut them all out at once with this framelit die. So it makes it really easy, like on this card, how they stamped this across the background a few times, and then they stamped it again and cut out the ornaments so that they could highlight just a few of them. So those coordinating items make that really easy to do. Also, fancy alert, um, there's these new foil edged cards and envelopes. So the cards are pre-cut and scored and they come with the matching envelopes. There's just silver or gold foil around the edges. And again, just an easy way to start your cards. I like easy. This is my favorite suite in the catalog, the Festive Farmhouse Suite. And for a couple different reasons, this right here caught my eye right away, wishing you a season full of peace, wonder, and love. Merry Christmas. And it works great in a circle if you don't want to get the coordinating dies for some reason, if you don't have a big shot yet. Um, if you do, this banner die cuts out just the Merry Christmas, but the whole thing fits in a circle like this. So you can see it's gonna make some really nice cards. Also, plaid is my favorite. Um, growing up, and even still, my dad has always worn a lot of plaid, and I remember in high school, I used to always steal his plaid shirts to wear. So I love that this Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper has a lot of plaid in it. Also, just some fun other patterns like stars. This is my favorite plaid, I think. And then it has some wood grain. So if you like to take pictures of your cards to share on Facebook or Instagram, this makes it a great backdrop for, for your cards before you take a picture of them. And then some kind of shiplap, which is fun. And then on the opposite sides, we have some kind of regular patterns, grid paper and stripes, kind of some stars. I really like the muted colors in this set. They're not real bright red and green, but they're still red and green, and I like that a lot. Something else you won't want to miss is the corrugated dynamic impressions embossing folder, and the dynamic means it's just really thick. So this reminds me of way back when I first started card making. I had and still have this big old crimper that would crimp your cardstock like this. This takes up a lot less room, and it's really easy to just run through your big shot. So I have heard that some people have had some issues with their paper cracking. I have not had any problems with that. Mine went through just fine, but it might help to spritz your cardstock with water before you put it in your folder and run it through your big shot. And just remember that this, because this is a thicker folder, you just need your big shot base platform, your folder with your paper in it, and then a clear cutting pad on top. So only one clear cutting pad to run this through. And then you get this fun texture. One other thing on this page I don't want you to miss is this red distressed card tin. And the great thing about this is that it's perfectly sized so that you can fill it with handmade cards and that makes a great gift. Here we have some nice stamp sets if you like to color and a few new colors of Stampin' Blends. And the Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers. So if you're going to use them, you want to first stamp your image in the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And the reason for that is this is a water-based ink pad and these are alcohol markers. So you always want to use the opposite. If you are using alcohol markers, you want a water-based ink. If you are going to be doing water coloring with like an aqua painter or blender pen or any kind of water, you're gonna to wanna to stamp with a permanent ink like the Stays On ink. So Stampin' Blends go with the Memento ink. So I'm gonna talk about some of these on the next page. Here we have another stamp set that has a coordinating punch, a cute little candy cane. 
And then I want to talk about this because my daughter, this is exactly what she wanted first off. And that's the Mem Santa's Workshop Memories and More card pack. So these are pre-printed cards that are three by four and four by six. And then there's some other little embellishments that come with it. These are made for if you want to do scrapbooking, the pocket scrapbooking, that's kind of the memories part of it. And the more is you can also use it to make cards and tags. So let me show you a few things that my daughter's made already. This is the small three by four card just on top of one of these new Santa's Workshop Memories and More cards and envelopes. So these are red cards that come with red envelopes. These are a little bit too small to mail, but they're perfect for tucking in with a gift. And even a gift card would fit in here to just give like this. So she just put the Memories and More card right on top of there and added a little embellishment. Then the bigger size is the four by six. These can go in the mail. She just, again, put a pre-printed card right on front of the pre-made card, and they are white on the inside, and then added another little embellishment. And then you can also mix and match. So for this one, she used a large card and then a smaller card for the greeting on top of it. She also made one tag, and this goes, she just cut one of the cards down to be the right size. And then this is the Santa's bags that are on the page before. But this is another you can make it. So if you want to make a bunch of stuff, a bunch of little gift bags and cards with these, again, one item code will get you all of this stuff. And um, this is just a little sneak peek at what she's made. She'll be sharing more later. Lots of fun things that you can do with just that set. Every Christmas needs a poinsettia stamp set, right? So this new peaceful poinsettia was on my I have to get it right away list. And even though I don't like to color a lot, this is easy coloring for me. You only need a couple colors and there's just not that much to color in. I really liked the greetings in this set as well. So let me show you what I've made with that. So here's the Christmas wishes, looks nice in a circle, and then I stamped and cut those out with the coordinating framelit die. Again, you can get this in a bundle, and colored it in. The Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, I put it in a circle, but I think this is gonna go better in an oval than maybe a circle. And then this is my favorite. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it on the video, um, but I, uh, did some of the coloring with the clear wink of Stella pen, so my poinsettia is just really glittery and shiny in person. So those are a few cards that I've made so far with that stamp set. I also wanted to point out these detail dies, you can do fancy, fancy things like on this card here and on this box here. So they just kind of cut out that whole inner part. So I haven't had a chance to really play with those yet, but I think they're gonna make some fabulous things. Here I wanted to point out that this tags and tidings, this is one big stamp. Really just one big stamp. You're gonna stamp it all at one time and then use the coordinating thinlets die to cut out all 16 tags at once. So then you're just gonna really quickly have 16 tags that you can use on cards, on gifts, for tags, all kinds of little things. You can also use the whole big stamp on the background like they did on this green card. So they just stamped it once in green, on the green, and boom, you have a nice background for your card. On these stitched framelit dies over here, it's kind of hard to tell from the little picture here, but I wanted to point out that these give you little stitches when you use them on your cardstock. So you can see on this card, this gives like a chevron, little stitched background, and then the scallop one, Kind of down here gives you the scallops. So that's just kind of fun and I wanted to point it out so you didn't miss it. I've had a lot of questions so far about this little card down here so I just wanted to tell you real quick how I think that they made it. I believe it's Mary Merlot cardstock. That has become my go-to color um, for Christmas cards so far for my red. It's just a really nice muted color. And so I think they embossed that with the new tin tile embossing folder, which we'll get to a little bit later in the catalog, and then rubbed some copper shimmer paint over top to give it that look. It's just gorgeous. So even if you don't necessarily want to use it with this stamp set, I think that's a great technique for some of your cards. Something new this year is that they've started doing multiples of the same die in a die set. And the reason that they did that is because they want to make it quicker and easier to make multiples for things like this wreath. 
So instead of having to cut one, cut one, cut one, you can cut three at a time. Um, same for these background trees here. Instead of having to cut them out one at a time, you can cut two at a time. So that's just something um, that you want to be aware of. Don't be like, why did I get three of these? That's wrong. It's not wrong. They're just trying to make things quicker and easier for you. This next Joyous Noel suite is another great one where you're going to want a lot of the coordinating products because they go so well together. This is actually the sheet of paper that I've been using to make all of the cards that I've showed you so far that I've made in this video. But the fun thing about this paper, and it's called Joyous Noel, is that it's got some copper foil to it. So I'm not sure how well you can see that on the video, but you can see that just it's got some copper accents on there. So it's a little bit shiny and oh, so pretty. There's some deer. Again, not my favorite, the deer, but... Just really pretty designs and then on the back there are I guess what you call flat designs um, in brighter colors I think some stripes this one's really pretty some snowflakes this is my favorite of the backs which is good because this is not my favorite so sometimes it's hard to pick which side you're gonna use I'm gonna use this side and then this would be actually nice, not even for Christmas cards, but maybe for some fall cards. So that's the designer series paper, really, really pretty. And then this Joyous Noel glimmer paper comes in six by six. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's copper, Mary Merlot, and Tranquil Tide. Just so, so pretty. And a little bit of this goes a really long way. Then this ribbon is also a must have. It's Mary Merlot and copper. So one side is a little bit darker Mary Merlot. You saw I used this on a few of the cards I showed at the beginning of the video. And then the other side just has a copper sheen to it. So it's just so gorgeous for using on cards or for wrapping up little gifts. Um, maybe even big gifts, wrap it all the way around and, and tie it. This little sprig punch I wanted to point out, it doesn't actually coordinate with any of the stamps in this set but you can use it for a lot of little background things. So on this card, they have it sticking out, um, punched out of glimmer paper, sticking out behind the greeting. Here they have just some sprigs of it behind the tag. And then here they used it to make this little wreath. I also saw that um, Shelly Gardner, the found co-founder and of Stampin' Up, she used it to make this cute little tree that she showed us on the Alaskan cruise. It was adorable, I'll share a picture later. So that's the Joyous Noel. And then here on page 30 is a new tool called Take Your Pick. And if you like to use little embellishments, this is gonna be so helpful for you. So here's how it comes. And if you take off this end, it's just got some, and it's really not as hard as I'm making it look on video. Okay, it just pops right off. Uh, it's got some putty on the end. So that when you wanna place a sequin or another small, embellishment you can pick it up with that look how easy that is and then when your putty isn't sticky anymore when it kind of dries out and gets hard you can just break it off and then twist this and more putty will come out so it actually comes with one extra putty thing and then you can buy the putty refills later the other end has this nice little flat tool so that if your sequins are adhesive backed and this one's not so it's not going to stick but if it was I could just pick it up like that, the adhesive would stick, and then I could go place it onto my card. So that's really nice. Then if you twist this to unlock it, the other end is a paper piercer. So then you can just lock that in. And there's one other piece that you can, um, if you take this out, you can replace that with the stylus. So it's got two different size stylus ends that you can use. So this is gonna be a really handy tool, especially if you like to use little embellishments. And it's only $10, so not a big deal. Great stocking stuffer for your crafty friends. This Merry Christmas here, I absolutely love, but I don't like the rest of the set. I, I really do like that Stampin' Up! has their stamps in sets because it helps me to know what really goes together. Um, but sometimes I do also wish that they would let me just buy the one stamp because there is no way that I'm going to color all of that. These are some kits and kits, again, make it really easy for you to craft, whether you're just starting out or if you just need some um, 
quick projects to get you going. Um, sometimes we want to make really fancy things for those that we really love and that really appreciate the cards that we make. Um, but sometimes for the people that maybe aren't so, um, maybe they don't realize how much time and effort you put into your handmade cards, something that's pre-done, a kit, might be perfect for making quick cards for them. So this is a tag kit and this is a card kit and you want to make sure that you get the stamp set, the project kit. So if you want to make more than just come in one project kit, you can get the stamp set and two or three project kits. And then you also want to make sure you have everything listed under the gather. So it talks about the stamp set, a couple of ink pads, um, some glue and adhesive. Um, for this one, again, you want the stamp set, the project kit, and this project kit makes 20 cards. So think about how many cards you want to send and get as many card kits as you need. And then um, you'll also need a jet black ink pad and some adhesive to go with that. Not a whole lot of extra supplies, but super easy and it makes beautiful projects. Guess what? This catalog is not all for Christmas. Shocking, I know. Um, there are some fall stamp sets. Although this one actually has season's greetings in it as well, so this could be for fall or I guess any time of the year. There's another You Can Make It bundle. The Frosted Floral Suite. I do not have this paper yet, but it's some gorgeous floral paper and this stamp set, gorgeous. It makes some gorgeous things. Also, I wanted to point out this Tranquil Tide Velvet Ribbon just has some great texture to it. And I came into my craft room this morning and noticed that my daughter had made a card with it. So here, she just put some of that across her card and I think it looks great. It just adds a little bit of texture. The Buffalo Check is a background that is a must have because you can use this all year round. Again, it's kind of like that Buffalo Check plaid, but you don't have to stamp it in black on red, although you can. You can stamp it in all different colors. Here's a couple samples here, but it's just gonna make great backgrounds for all of your cards. Shimmer Paint is back. Now, it has been a few years since Stampin' Up! has offered Shimmer Paint, and so I kind of have to refresh myself on how I used to use it. But I do remember that you can paint it on either with a paintbrush or a sponge dauber. You can actually use the sponge dauber to daub it right onto a stamp and stamp your stamp with the shimmer paint. You can also mix a little shimmer paint with some alcohol in a spray bottle and spray it on and it makes this gorgeous shimmer mist. So that's what I'll be doing with that for sure. This stamp set and coordinating die, I'm not sure about the stamp set yet. It's on my maybe. I really like these kind of um, watercolor splotchy backgrounds. I think those could be used for a lot of things. But I do love the thinlet die. And this is just one big die so that when you run it through your Big Shot, it's gonna cut out a whole bunch of these little snowflakes that you can use on your cards and projects. But then it's also going to give you kind of a template. So it'll just be a solid piece with the snowflakes missing that then you can sponge ink through or paste through or shimmer paint through and make a nice background with. So I haven't gotten this yet because I'm still deciding if I want the bundle with both or if I just want the thinlet die. But I for sure am going to get this. And when I do and make some projects, I will definitely share them with you. So be sure you check my website, inkitupwithjessica.com regularly so that you can see what I'm making with these new products. This Flourish Filigree stamp set caught my eye right away. This is just gorgeous. And I really like how the Happy Christmas Wishes coordinates with the pretty label punch that is in the annual Stampin' Up! catalog. Again, I just love a punch and a stamp that coordinates. So based off of this lovely design here, I just made a really quick and easy tag. And it truly was quick and easy. So I really like that, it's very pretty. Owls scare me. I know a lot of people love owls. No, just no. Some more kind of fall country products that maybe aren't my favorite, but I do not want you to skip this page because, you know, if you kind of look at this and you're like, oh, that's not really my thing, we tend to flip over it. You guys, the number one thing you need to get out of this catalog is on this page, and it is the tin tile embossing folder. It is gorgeous. They've used it on this sample here with the new galvanized metallic paper. So pretty. And then 
here they've used it on just a regular piece of cardstock. Now I have heard, um, Stampin' Up! shared a video that they recommend that you spray your paper with water before you run it through so that you get a nice deep texture. I didn't do that and I got a not so deep texture and I love it. So play around with it and see. So for this one, it really did not give me a deep texture but I just liked how it was very subtle on the background. I really liked that a lot. And then for this one, again, I didn't spray it but I got a deeper image for the background. So I'm not sure, you're just gonna have to play around with it but I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, you must get that. Um, I also heard that the chicken wire embellishments are really easy to use. So if you like that look, you might want to give those a try. Some more um, fall stamp sets. If you want to send Thanksgiving cards, this one has a nice happy Thanksgiving stamp. Again, here's a you can make it if you want to make these cards and you like these colors. One item code will get you all this stuff and you can make these. Don't be confused by this stamp set here. Looking at these stamp images, you're like, what, what, what is going on? Um, but it's multiple stamps to get one image. So you're going to use these stamps. They're gonna be easy to line up because they're clear. They're totally clear um, st stamps so that you can see through them when you're stamping. And when you stamp these together, you're going to get this and see how you can do it in multiple colors. And it says, you mean so much to me. So don't be confused by that. And then here is another stamp set with a coordinating punch. This stamp set, Making Every Day Bright, coordinates with the Christmas light bulb punch that we uh, talked about earlier in the catalog. So those are some really fun stamp images that go with that. I am not a big fan of Halloween, but I did want to point out some things here because I know some of you love Halloween and like to make lots of different things for it. So don't miss these pages. But even if you don't like Halloween and you don't really make anything for Halloween, like I don't, um, there's some things on here that you can use all year round. Like these baker's boxes, these are going to be perfect for Christmas or Thanksgiving or really any occasion because they're just white and then they have a window on top. So you can decorate them any way that you want. Here they show that you can put a little ink refill in a spritzer bottle with some water um, or rubbing alcohol and just spray it on to give those baker's boxes color. Another thing that's so pretty is this black glittered organdy ribbon and I thought I had some but I can't find it to show you um, but it's just really sparkly and pretty so you can pair that with non-Halloween colors to make anything. I always like to pair black with a bright color like oh I don't know melon mambo or lemon lime twist something so it really pops. And then there's also these black foil sheets that you could use for other things. These takeout treats, this little box here, should be called tiny takeout treats because these are really, really small. They're like this. Sometimes it's hard to look in the catalog and tell how big they're gonna be. They're really small. Like I would say they're really like this big, but they're super cute. And the nice thing about making something that small is that you don't have to have a lot to fill it up. So say you wanted to make little treat containers for um, a whole class, a whole school class. You could fill this with just something small, like a rubber bouncy ball or a couple pencil erasers, or if you're allowed to share candy, just a couple small pieces of candy. So I think these are super cute. And then the takeout treat stamp set has something kind of for all year round. So it does have a little thing that you could use for Halloween and Christmas, but it also has basic things like thank you, you could use it for Valentine's Day, um, just very versatile. So take a look at that if that's something that you think you would use. Um, more Halloween stuff, spooky bats punch, don't miss that if you like spooky things like that. Um, I get enough of real bats and don't need spooky bats for my punches. <laughs> but that brings us to the end of the catalog. If you want everything in this catalog, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and order your starter kit. You get to pick $125 worth of products for only $99 and shipping is free. So you can pick anything you want out of this catalog or even the annual catalog. If you're in the US, you can sign up to be a demonstrator with me. And to do that, you'll just go to my website, inkitupwithjessica.com and click on buy supplies starter kit from the top menu. 
If you're not quite ready to become a demonstrator yet, when your order is $150 or more, you get Stampin' Rewards. So it says host here, but you do not have to host a party. Anytime your order is $150 or more, whether it's just your personal order or you like to collect a few orders from friends as well, you will get free Stampin' Rewards based on this chart, and you can use those Stampin' Rewards to pick anything free from this catalog, the annual catalog, or you can choose exclusive host sets like the Warm Hearted Stamp Set or the Hung With Care. You can't actually buy these stamps at all. You can only get them free with an order of $150 or more. So when you're ready to order products from this catalog, you can go to my website, shopinkitupwithjessica.com, place your order, and they'll be shipped right to you from Stampin' Up. Thank you so much for looking through the holiday catalog with me. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments below. Happy stamping! Thank you.